Hello and welcome. I am Hayden Dingman, and I'm here with Adam Patrick Murray. Hey, that is me, and I am here to play some video, or watch you play some video games. Yeah, we're rather. gonna play Islanders, which is uh, okay. my new addiction. Really? Um, I, I actually have never heard of this. Yeah, so it just came out last week. Uh, oh, great, it's gonna give us the tutorial, because we are on a new PC. Oh, yay. We can move the camera. Uh, anyways, uh, as this goes through the tutorial, we will start talking. It's pretty short. What the uh, hell so, is this about? So it is a uh, puzzle game that is in the guise of a city builder. Huh. So uh, every single time you get the choice between two packs, they call them. Uh huh. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll get the, the farming pack first. <laughs> and it gives us these uh, little things down here at the bottom. And then we place them. And uh, we have the only structure on the island at first is this statue. Uh, and that gives us extra points if we place next to the statue. Okay. Uh, you can see there's that sphere around. Yeah. The, so that governs the range of each of your, your buildings. So we'll put this down here. And you don't have to knock down the trees beforehand. It doesn't no, automatically. No, they just disappear. Uh, and then we get, you see you get points down here. And we filled up part of this circle. Oh, you're supposed to like maximize your yeah. building efforts? Yeah, so you are trying to... Uh, like you can see when we move here, like if we if we just place this over here, we get three points. Uh, if we place it in range of the the mill, we get eight, and if we place it in range of the mill and the other field, we get ten. Huh. And so uh, every time you fill that circle, you get a new pack. And so we filled it once, <laughs> so we can take the lumber pack next, I guess. Uh, so now we have a sawmill, two lumberjacks, and then we have three more fields. It tends to give you pieces that go with the things that you just put out. Um, okay. So we will. So if you would have went with the lumber pack beforehand, yeah, it would have given us that first, and then we would have had the field and the brewery the next time. Huh. Um, so we're gonna do this best we can, but uh, so we'll put our. Um, sawmill here and you can see if you mouse over uh, each of the buildings you get it says gets a bonus for each nearby in this case sawmill statue tree okay loses points for each lumberjack in range so we can't put our lumberjacks uh too close to each other um because because they're both taking off the same yeah, trees then it'll see you see we have a minus six down Ooh. here uh so we need to place it far enough away that uh it is not in that range but also close enough that we're still getting the tree bonuses huh but you tore down the other trees man you yeah we kind of we kind of kill our trees <laughs> we're on the smallest island as we as we move forward uh you actually get bigger and bigger islands each time wait why is this uh kind of so island that, filling up yeah so this is filling uh, up to tell us when we can move on to the next island uh, and you can actually just like stay on the the first island until you have like run out of moves so you can uh, kind of screw you yourself can, over if you if you built wrong right yeah uh and so you kind of like as you play you learn the rules so in this case um the mansions for instance do not get bonuses for being near other houses but the house gets bonuses for being near mansions <laughs> and so uh <laughs> so you, i mean that makes sense so right? you end up uh you learn all the rules kind of intuitively uh and uh, one of the things I think is funny is you don't need streets uh, in this game, eh. and so you just kind of like. Cram I mean, there's no everything. people walking around, right? How do you uh, know we're if too there's close even to people? the ocean here? Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, there's no people, so uh, yeah, technically it could just be decorative. Oh, maybe the houses don't get points for other mansions. That's interesting. Uh, later on, there, uh, there the cities get really complicated, um, so there are like temples and stuff, uh -huh. uh, and like the temples if they're near. The circus lose a lot of points. Uh, there's what? like all sorts uh, of the why? rules get so complicated, <laughs> but it builds it up uh, really slowly. So you know we're we're still kind of in the the basic stuff here. Uh, also, you don't lose points retroactively. So now oh, we can, so your sawmill is yeah. Gonna, so we can technically uh, knock down these trees now, and it doesn't matter for like we're not going to lose points on our old lumberjacks. Interesting, because um, that would have kind of been mean. <laughs> yeah, it would be it would be almost impossible at the end because stuff gets really complicated. Um, not a great place for us to put this anywhere, so we'll stick there or whatever. I mean, the, yeah, this doesn't have to be realistic uh, city planning. It just needs to be. Yeah, it's just know, points maximize, maximizing, yeah. and so you get some weird stuff towards the end. So they have like walls. Um, and the walls lose points for being near other walls, which is weird because Wait, then you uh, end up in this weird, like, 
none of your walls are actually placed very well. It doesn't actually look very good. Well, don't you want walls to like connect to each other and circle around? Yeah, that's something? what you would think, right? Uh, so let's just head on. We'll move to the next island just because. Yeah, why not? Uh, and so each of these islands, I'm pretty sure, is procedurally generated. I could uh, be wrong, but uh, I haven't had a repeat yet. Uh, and huh. They have different terrain and different colors. Uh, are, are there any? Any sort of obstacles, like a you know, like a volcano that uh, can wipe something out. Uh, I haven't seen like anything that. like that. It's pretty zen. Uh, oh, okay. It's just a lot of. I, I will say the music is pretty, you know, calm yeah, and we peaceful. Can, uh, we can let's, let's crank, crank that, that up. Yeah. Uh, we're not little, getting any music. A little now. bit in the. Yeah. Oh, we get, oh, you that get, nice get a wind. little bit. You know, just a little bit. Yeah, oh, okay. there we go. Here it comes in. Uh, yeah, I played this. I had heard somebody mention it. Uh, on Twitter last week and I, I downloaded it and I was it was late at night and I was like oh, I'll just play for you know half an hour check it out uh -huh. uh, and then it was like three hours later <laughs> I was like oh no nice uh, it's one of those games for sure he's in doubt man yeah well I mean that's the thing it's like just incredibly peaceful um, we don't really have a good spot for this but so this is like this is an interesting one because we have uh, two of these now we get bonuses for both of those but then we get minuses for both of these so oh, and they have to go on sand out. uh yeah these are these sand pits have uh, to go on sand well there's sand over there too yeah we could have yeah. put it over there but we would have had we wouldn't get the bonus for these uh, uh and then the masons uh we can sort it so really the goal is just to get the score and go to the next island yeah That's... but like it kind of yes but then you end up i mean at least i ended up really uh trying to make nice looking cities especially by the end mm -hmm. um just to to spice it up a little bit well just because I, I like it's a, it's so zen that you end up just like ah, i kind of just want to make something that looks yeah, nice just something uh, pretty. It, like this is a a great game to just zone out and place a bunch of stuff you also you start to learn like um they have achievements for having few buildings in your uh, in your possession at one time, so huh. we only have four buildings right now, but you can just we already filled the thing, so you can just pop open the next one. Oh, I get it, I get uh, it. So okay. then by the end, there are like some very there's some super high value things there's like a, a tower, for instance uh. Uh, that gets points for every house in range and the range is like this enormous circle, huh. and so it behooves you to just like hold the tower for, you know a bunch however of long you need to fill in all the houses and then just put the tower at the end and it'll fill up like i think i got 78 points off of one of them dang um which in this game is a lot so what happens if you place everything down and just like and do horrible placement yeah uh, that's when you lose so so it, it makes you start this one over again i uh, no, you just start from scratch uh with a brand new set of islands so oh, i mean so we, we like could do it right now actually like if we just uh Three points. Oh no, I think I screwed up right there. Too many points. Oh, you're too oh, good. I'm too good Man, at this game. You're just too good. Uh, let me see. How can I? No, because you're gonna get all those bonuses right there. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of bonuses oh. right there. I'm too good, guys. <laughs> Listen, I played a no. lot of this game. <laughs> uh, all right, let's burn through the next pack, and then we'll do it that way. All right, if we place our lumber with like zero points. Zero. Zero, Zero points. Three. Uh, this guy gets minus 40 for being next to the other one, so that's a good... Ooh, wow. Uh, yeah. There we go. And then, okay. Yep. Oh, wah, you lose. Wah. And then you just start over at the small island again. Uh, it's really that but simple. But you said it's it's procedurally generated, so Yeah, so it's be... a brand new small oh, island. Okay. So we get... So uh, how, how far have you gotten then? So uh, I think I got to the... F fifth island and there was one okay. more after that i'm pretty sure and like how big we talking oh like enormous wow uh okay. like i had three cities on my final island or something like that so you could really back yourself into a corner uh yeah uh it, it, it's very flexible but also yeah there's a lot to keep in mind at the end uh and that's the thing i ended up at a point where it was really like you keep those big point skitters uh -huh. uh, might oh no uh, uh your zen is off man yeah you keep those uh the big point skitters for the end because you're you're just waiting uh 
like if it, at some point you know like okay i'm gonna be able to put that tower down so that's the one the one thing that i will say or my only complaint with the game uh is that the packs tend to follow the same order on every single island i did notice that yeah it's like always the, the yeah, brewing so, pack and so the and like it kind of makes sense when you think about the um like i don't know it's like civ right like the the civilization follows a certain path yeah um so yeah it makes sense uh but by the end you're kind of i i knew exactly what i was going to get so you know you're going to get the tower eventually you know you're going to uh. get the circus you know you're going to get the temple uh, and so it's nice because you can plan around them, but also you hit a point where you just know what's coming and you're just sort of kind of nice at least feeding the same, uh, I don't know, like you're doing the same pattern every single time. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so I would know like, okay, I'm going to throw these mansions over here because at some point I'm going to need the temple to go, I don't know, on that side, uh, or the, um, the circus will get points for all of the, uh, the lower class houses but they will lose points for mansions so eventually i learned like okay i'm going to build my houses on one side and i'm going to build my mansions on the other so that then eventually i can put the circus on one side hmm. put the uh i think it's the jeweler gets points for mansions and not and loses points for houses so uh yeah you just end capitalism, up capitalism man yeah you uh you kind of you learn the the pattern after a while um but man it's so calming uh, and this music, and just, this music is pretty cool. Just like really pretty. Uh, like I like it. Reminds me of um, EA's SimCity, but in a good way, uh, where it does the little like poof thing every time poof, they yep. go down. Uh, and you just hear the the money kind of piling up. In yeah, your score. like especially when you get the really big ones. You, uh, it's really fun to have the like that little <laughs> just go on. So for, what happens if you don't go to the next island? Like. Oh, we could just keep playing this until you run out of moves, and then you can go on to the next but island. But the score still, like, tries to keep going yep, up? Yep, keeps going up. Uh, so and will that affect your next island? Like uh, yeah, so you would just start at the higher score, and so you can get to, uh, like, you end up with a high score at the end that you compare to, uh, like, a global okay. high score. Um, and so, yeah, there's a a reason to keep playing. Like, you, you pretty much want to play each island to the end do you know what i mean oh really um, okay so yeah that is the better way huh? yeah because if it, like if you're trying to maximize your score that is the best way to play huh. uh but there's also like if you just want to go through and see the islands then it probably is faster to just go uh because i think it sets the next uh thing regardless uh, um, like you have to you have to reach the same point on each island uh in order to move forward um but yeah, I just like playing. You know, the when I was playing, I was playing to just maximize score every time. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, we could just head huh. on. We'll get uh, this one should be even more different because uh, it's the bigger island. So yeah. So yeah, you, we have this crazy islander. We have this wall right here now. That is um, that's pretty cool architecture. So you, can, you can build the uh, like I've built farms up on there before because it, it is kind of out of the way. It's almost like it's almost like it's hinting that there was a previous uh you know yeah society uh, here. civilization that uh, had yep. happened but is any there's no story it just nope just, it's just what it is uh, you're not gonna like reach the end and find some big exposition dump. nope uh, i or at least i don't think so i haven't reached the end cool. but uh yeah i don't know i think it's just this nice uh, peaceful game so hayden i gotta ask uh, how much is this oh god <laughs> Why did you ask me? <laughs> um, so I always got to ask every the hard time, questions. you know. Because if you know, if this was sixty dollars, I'd be like, mm, I'm gonna, isn't worth I'm that much. Yes, it's twenty dollars. Okay. Uh, how much do you think it is, Adam? Uh, man, I'm feeling more like fifteen. Really, you're gonna yeah. go that high? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too high. Uh, how about you control this mouse, Adam? Sure. And I will, uh, uh, let me. T too bad you can't. Uh, too bad you can't really mess yourself up and put this stuff is, like in the water. Adam, this is five dollars. Five dollars, yes. man. Well, that's easy. I mean, yeah. I'm I mean, come on, five bucks for Zen. This is the easiest purchase. Uh, it's like you you can go to like a retreat, you know, and and have some uh, Buddhist monk talk to you for yeah, thousands of dollars, as I or said, you can buy I this played for $5. this for hours the other day. <laughs> like I I cannot stress enough. Um, it's like one of those games that's just very easy to 
lose yourself in. Do you know what I mean? Oh, kind of like the, the Eminem song? Yeah, like the Eminem <laughs> song. Uh, so yeah, we could put some uh, some houses up here if we wanted. Uh, we probably should have put the nice houses up on top of the, yeah. the cliff, but... And you can't overlap. I, I'm noticing it's kind of like nope, snapping. It, yeah, right? reds yeah. out. But okay. then, yeah, if you if you move it around another thing, yeah, it'll it'll, kind of it'll snap, snap to, it. to it. So yeah, if we move this down here, it'll you see it kind of. Oh, yeah. Okay. You got Do a little bit of weight before it goes through. Does this have mouse and keyboard support, or, or I'm sorry, uh, controller support? Or not? I don't know about controller support. I haven't messed with it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you could make controller support work, but it's probably um, easier to get the. The small fine details. Yeah, like I, I found it easier to just play mouse and keyboard. It's beautiful. Uh, I think we made it. Oh. So yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is Islanders. It's a pretty easy. I mean, it's only five dollars. Yep, five dollars. Uh, beautiful, and yeah, that that music. Uh, why don't you just listen to the music for a minute? Uh, the music cut out right when you said yeah, that. Right. So, but I mean, I still like the sound effects. It's Get that little rain. Ah. There's the music. Thanks everyone for tuning in yeah. to PC World. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. And, uh, Thank you, Hayden. I uh namaste. <laughs> <laughs>